everybody welcome back to my shop well it's not every day that I get a package that requires signature but um, I was notified by FedEx that I had a package coming that needed uh, to be signed for and to my surprise the package came from you guessed it Jimmy DeResta I was quite shocked to uh, to find that the package itself uh, you know was addressed to me by Jim DeResta but uh, I was uh, one of the contributors to the toy backer campaign that uh, Jimmy ran and so this is the uh, the package finally arrived um, it was uh, I think a couple months later than most people may have gotten theirs uh, due to some kind of a shipping issue um, not entirely sure there but the bottom line was the package came and look at that box that is nice that's I like it I think it's uh, very fitting for uh, a Jimmy DeResta item so I, I think they got that right it is very tight let's just oh man I had to sh there it came all right now you get this crap out of the way move a few things there we go what's this it looks like a handwritten note not certain if everyone got one of these but uh, I got a note addressed to Brian saying thank you for the love and support Jimmy DeResta that is really cool uh, that's probably <laughs> that was that was worth the wait right there to get uh, to get an actual handwritten note from uh, Jimmy DeResta himself um, this is obviously just the uh, toy backer uh, slick that uh, they included in the box and uh, you know it is really a really good uh, quality uh, build that they did here so it you know, looks just like him and uh, I'm sure it's uh, it's gonna look good when I get mine open here let's see all right get the foam well, I'm not sure why I had to look it over but I did all right well that's how it looks uh, everything's wrapped in plastic uh, I assume to uh, protect the uh, you know the paint uh, from sticking to the uh, foam uh, that kind of thing uh, I know that some of the uh, model railroad engines that I get they, they come like that too where they've got plastic uh, covering over the uh, you know the paint job before before you get it out of the package so I assume it's got something to do with uh, protecting it the paint from sticking well as you can see I, I did get the uh, the painted one um, <laughs> I know you could get an unpainted one and some people are just uh, way more talented or uh, have a lot of time to paint not sure how exactly they painted this but you know if it was hand painted then more power to them that's not uh, not a job for me that's for sure um, so we'll just kind of get him out see how he looks check it out um, the only disappointing thing I felt was the uh, the sticker I, I would have liked to have seen the you know the the Duresta stencil um, maybe actually you know painted on or uh, you know lasered on or I don't know something the sticker obviously it stands out you can see that it's a sticker on there and uh, I think there was a sticker on the axe that uh, after a couple times taking it out to uh, look at it, uh, it it's already rubbed off or I've lost it somehow um, but that's essentially that's it um, that's what it looks like and uh, to the chagrin of uh, my wife this is what I stayed at home for <laughs> to me it was worth it uh, I I thought it was pretty cool to, to have a you know somebody that I used to watch on um, you know the DIY channel maybe it was reruns or the discovery channel uh, with some of the, the different TV shows that uh, Jimmy's done over the years uh, on uh, you know building things and then obviously on to his uh, his now YouTube uh, sensation that he is 
um, I think it's really neat to be able to have uh, you know a little piece of that history to say, yep, I used to watch Jimmy Duresta, I've, I've, and I've actually have, I've been watching him for years. Um, love his videos, uh, loved his uh, TV shows that he did, and uh, just proud to be able to say I've got uh, my own little Jimmy that'll be uh, visiting my shop soon. Thanks for watching.